Okay, <clears throat> back with the sample of the Jelly Yarn crocheted with the 26 gauge copper wire. And uh, sorry for the candy colors, but I could rearrange them so they don't have this candy color effect, but I was just grabbing, this is just for a sample, I was just grabbing yarn closest to me and it came out looking like this candy color stuff, but anyway. Uh, so this is um, how the um, crochet with this um, this jelly yarn came out. It's kind of transparent. It's the overcast sky, sky right now, so I can't really show you that um, this yarn, the color does not this is the blue is really dense but um the yellow isn't but and then the orange is it's transparent but this when the sun shines on it for some reason it doesn't um it doesn't shine onto the surface below it but um you know this is a sample for um a public art piece that's going in in a lobby. I just wanted to see real sloppy. Sorry for the sloppiness, but it's I'm experimenting with this yarn and I kind of had to get used to it. But um this is how it um This is how it came out. I'm gonna have to um, well when I when I you know design my the final piece when the final piece gets designed, which it will probably be a panel, a crocheted panel. It'll be even across because I know what I have to do uh, to make. The yarn not go in like in and out like it's the ends are doing but uh i just have to work with it closer excuse me and then you know i was using these um these colors i was trying to show the design of my range of colors but i really i can't really do that because i got a lot of colors so I was just, you know, I'm not really pleased with the colors that I choose for this sample, but it's just a sample just to um, see how the material works. But anyway, that's it for um, this sample. I'm gonna put this sample and the other one in the mail in UPS tomorrow and send it out and finish working on my other digital commission piece but um you know i wanted to get this one rolling so it's just less things to think about while i'm working but anyway oh that's kind of interesting top yarn how it looks doubling up on the yarn that was kind of interesting but I don't want to double up so much that it it makes it makes the yarn it makes the piece heavy Let's see how this blue looks with this orange it's kind of interesting it has an interesting effect and then, um, oh, there you can see how it kind of catches the light. Let's see how this goes here. It catches the light, but the light doesn't go through it. Very interesting. Not 
got enough color trend color um let me see this one the orange i mean the hot pink with the blue blue doesn't catch the light so much this yellow probably really catches the light that's interesting I think I did this orange already, orange and the blue. Mm, it's interesting. thing is it's gone into the light but anyway you know this is what we do when we're in the development stage we just try to discover options to broaden how we will move forward but um yeah this is I like how it hangs, it can do this little twisty thing. It can't, it, it, this, this um, yarn twists naturally, so I can take that into consideration also. It does this little twist thing. which is interesting. Let it take its own course. Okay. But anyway, yeah, so um, that's where I am right now. I think we can. We, I've done all that I can can do with this so far, and I just have to uh, send it to the designer, and, and we'll talk and see what works, what doesn't work, and and I'll be moving forward with this gummy yarn, this jelly yarn. Okay, once again, like always, thank you so much for um, your support. And thank you for joining me on this journey. And I'll get with you on the next video. Peace, everybody.